Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick how-to on how to control a device with an on-off switch over the internet. A quick parts list, we got a breadboard, jumper wires, 5 volt DC digital relay, and a Node MCU ESP8266. Links will be in the description. Step 1, disconnect on-off switch. Strip wires. I'm wiring two lights together, so if you're just doing one, skip this step. All I'm doing here is twisting two wires together. Next, we'll connect the wires to the digital relay. These bottom two posts are normally open and the top two are normally closed. Normally open means if the light switch was off and normally closed means if the light switch was on. Now with the wires connected to digital open, we can connect it to Arduino. This is our signal, plus and minus. It's usually marked on the board. Next step is to get your ESP and your breadboard you kind of have to rock it in place. It's also a good time to talk about programming your ESP. If you've never programmed an ESP before, I have an instructable in the description on how to set it up for first time use. This next step is optional, but I think it's good if you want to add more lights like that in the future. So you take a jumper wire with two males. This one's connected to VN, so that's our positive and connected to the, the positive on the board. And then you take your ground and then connect it to the negative terminal here. What this does is it gives power throughout the whole rack. Take the positive from the digital relay and connect it to the positive line on our breadboard. Then connect the negative from the digital relay to the negative on the breadboard. So you connect the signal pin to D1. All right, now it's time for coding. This is the time to go to GitHub and download the code. The link is in the description and paste this into your favorite editor. I use Arduino IDE. First couple of things we're going to want to do is that if these are not orange in your editor, you have to go to your library and update your library. You go to library by tools, manage libraries, and then you search the library you need up here and then install that library. After installation, it should go orange. After that, you need to enter your Wi-Fi name and then your Wi-Fi password right here. Down here, instead of noise brew, you're going to put your Twitch stream information here and here. And then you need your authorization key. To get the oath key, you click this link right here. And that link will pop up a window. And you're going to hit connect and then copy that oath key. And then paste it right here. On line 36, you see int LED equals 5. That is because we connected to D1 earlier. So that's GPIO5, and that's how that correlates there. The lights we just wired up are triggered by this command on line 113. When some, someone subscribes to this stream, Stream Element sends a message with the text subscribed in it. And when that happens, it executes this code right here. This code here is turning the light switch on, that digital relay, for 10 seconds, and then it's turning it off. If you'd like to customize what triggers your lights or your device, you can change what's in here to whatever you like. And if you don't want to use Stream Elements, use Stream Labs or some different alert system. Or if you want to just have it controlled by you, you can put your Twitch username in there. Please note, it has to be all capital. It, has, it is case sensitive. That way you can just activate it with the push of a button and only you could do it. Once you have it how you like it, you select your COM port by tools, port, COM12 for me, and then hit upload. Once the code's uploaded, you'll see ready to go boss in your Twitch chat. Lastly, type in your command and hit enter. There we go. Twitch controlled project right there. If you guys like this, there's plenty more on stream Wednesday and Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. I appreciate you watching. 